Greetings, friends and enemies. Namaste to you both. Okay, so sharing. I feel really good when I'm sharing. And the reason for that is when some of you give me feedback and tell me that I've inspired you in some ways, I feel like, yes, you know, it's like that was my God job to inspire you for the day, you know. That's the only reason why I feel like I'm even here. Um, why do I feel that way? Because I've had, you know, fast cars, excessive money, um, you know, excessive experimentation, I'd say, in terms of, uh, well, I wouldn't say I was excessive, but I've been blessed <laughs> in the sense of, uh, you know, materials and uh, and even when it came to my appetite for women earlier on in my life I've been a very blessed human being you know and um, it's funny the things you were chasing when you were young thinking that the money or the cars or the fame or the the, the women were were the Quan and they're not it's not it what what is the Quan is service to God, to others, to humanity, like to share, to inspire. It, it's like, that's where it's at, man. If you want to know where the joy comes from in life, it comes from trying to be a good person. Honestly, uh, like it might be a little difficult to try to figure out how to explain that to an atheist, although my, you know, my dad's atheist and he, he enjoys a good talk about being a good person. So, I mean, they're just, they're different atheists, you know met some negative ones <laughs> so but my point is this look everything is a frequency you know what I mean like there's a frequency to this the lip balm here has a mint smell to it you know, as soon as I apply it smell my peppermint you know I feel a little uplifted you know what I'm saying the mood it's happy that's not drugs. I didn't sniff coke. <laughs> but I definitely, you know, was affected by its vibration. And that's the key of what I'm trying to get through to you for your life. Like, if you want your life to have greater levels of joy and happiness and blessings and uh, all, of that, all of that good stuff, it's like, it really comes from vibration. So... There was one question, a man was thinking that my physique was, um, it was Ivar or something, was uh, not fully vegan for many years. Well, I can tell you that I kept on getting sick eating meat up until the age of 25. It was, you know, I, went, I suffered from like acne and stomach bowel problems and gas and bloating and lots of like belly rot, gut rot feelings, you know when you get like stomach flus and stuff I would get all of that from eating the meat I was eating a lot of meat and I was doing all kind of like bodybuilding type routines even though I never did the steroids or didn't get on stage in a, <laughs> a greasy little pair of uh, posing trunks but <laughs> but I uh, I did live a little bit of the lifestyle but it kept getting me sick so when I went vegan at 25 um, I thought I'd lose all my muscle so I thought Ivar would be right, you know. I'm going to be a skinnyan <laughs> with no muscle left. But uh, I, was, I didn't know what I was doing at that time. It was 15 years ago. I was just eating rice and beans. <laughs> I was blind. To, and and uh, to, I didn't know about raw food as much there either. So um, being higher and higher in raw vegan life uh, was a process. But all I can tell you is that most people when I'm out at a club... And if I, I mean, today's a little day off, so I'm a little scruffier, but, you know, if I'm nicely shaven up, most people think I'm about 25, 26, and I'm like, oh, well, that's interesting, because that's the age I left meat alone, stopped drinking alcohol, started becoming more conscious, and went higher and higher in vegan and raw food. And for a while there, I thought I was 100% raw, you know, until you figure out that most of the nuts and seeds are cooked, and certain things you really can't get in or cook. So it's like you start realizing, well, you're not 100% raw, even if you think you are. And a lot of people pretend that they are mentally. 
and uh, it's a nice little space to live in. But it's not necessary, you know, to be 100%. It, it's nice if you can, but, you know, once you're eating anything, like a little nut pie or, you know, whatever it is, high, those things, they, they tend to be, you know, cashews are all cooked. So anyone who's thinking they're 100% raw and eating cashews, they're not. So uh, even Durian Rider is correct for that. Freely and Durian Rider. Here's the one thing, though, that I don't like when I see in the vegan community. I often sort of say to Freely and Durian Rider, you know. It's my opinion on it. I love Durian Freely, Freely uh, Durian Rider and Freely, um, just because they're just very passionate people about veganism and helping the animals, and and they like to you know cut through bullshit, which is great. But I also love their arch enemies, <laughs> Dan the Man. I love Dan the Man. He's hilarious, and uh, you know he feels like a brother to me. You know, and then there's a uh, Christina fully raw works hard and couple of others that was never you know big keen uh, fan of Doug Graham although his book and work seemed good it didn't seem to have the personality that uh, I would vibe with although I definitely appreciated what he was doing but Lou Corona is an amazing human being my point is this as a vegan community team everybody is you know there's the older ladies out there like raw tea looking young and amazing and you had uh people like Lou Corona who looks amazing and is very very strong trust me 62 three years old I don't know if you if there's any stronger people than him other than Storm Talaferro who's also an incredible human being you got all of them look I think I'm probably the more strong uh vegan and I've been this way for 15 years, okay? I've gone up and down a little bit in muscle tissue if I've left the weights alone. But you can definitely create muscle tissue. It's amino acids. End of story. It's nutrition. Gorillas, elephants, bulls, rhinos, all vegan. <clears throat> okay? It's just up to you. If you want to work out, work out in the gym, you get muscle. End of story. The most important thing you got to focus on is your mind. Like what do you allow to be in your mind? The thoughts. You need really good thought patterns. You need to be always saying wonderful things like, God, universe, help me to be better. That's a wonderful thought. You know, God, universe, help me to forgive and understand everybody who's making mistakes. God, universe, help me to get over this hurdle. Universe, God, myself, I am a blessed individual. I send love and blessings to all people all over the world. I wish them all well. I wish them I wish the enemies well. Anyone who wants to be my enemy, you know what I wish you well. You know, I don't hope you try to fight me. I don't want to get hurt, but at the same time I don't want to hurt you. And I'm very capable. <laughs> it's just I don't want to. You know, that's why I'm always like, why do countries want to have war with each other? We know you could hurt each other. We ego, we already know Russia. We don't want to mess with Russia, but America, you don't want to mess with America either. You don't really want to mess with England. You don't want to mess with anybody's ego. You want to let them do what they need to do and hope they evolve and keep sending them love and blessings. You know what I'm saying? It's the love and the blessings, like from your own mind. Not only does that put good energy out there in the world, but it puts good energy inside of you, which is the most important thing. The more you are wishing other people good things and getting on with your own little daily duties of improvement, the more beautiful of a person you are. I can tell you this, I've dated some really beautiful women. And when I was younger, I thought, wow, they just look so good, right? They look so good. But the problem is if they haven't fixed the inside, you run into a lot of roadblocks because all of a sudden what's inside is a low vibrational frequency. It doesn't matter how good a person looks on the outside. If they think and feel in a negative, nasty, dark place, they become ugly because they're low vibration. It's all about your vibration and your vibration is your thoughts, your prayers, your words, your deeds, your actions. They all are all about who you are inside. That's true beauty. And that's what will bless you. That's what's blessed me.
Hope this has helped you. God bless you.